Okay, in this question, ammonia is produced from nitrogen and hydrogen. There's nitrogen, there's hydrogen, and there's the ammonia. A company wants to make 6.8 tons of ammonia, so they want to make 6.8 tons of this. Okay, and you need to calculate the mass of nitrogen needed to make 6.8 tons. Right, you can see in the equation that you've got one mole of nitrogen. react to produce two moles of ammonia. So what we need to try and work out is actually 6.8 how many moles does that produce of ammonia and the equation you need to remember is that moles equals mass divided by the molecular mass. So if we look here nitrogen that has an atomic mass of 14 hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1 so the molecular mass of NH3 right, is going to equal 14 plus 1 times 3. So that will give me 17. Therefore, the number of moles of ammonia is 6.8. I'm just putting 6.8 down. I know it says tons, but it's going to cancel out on either side. Divided by 17. 6.8 divided by 17 equals 0 0.4. So therefore we've got 0 0.4 moles produces so many moles of nitrogen. Well it's 1 to 2 therefore 0 0.4 if we half it we'll have 0 0.2 moles of N2. We put that back into the equation moles equals mass divided by MR so we've got 0 0.2 equals the mass divided by the MR. Well the MR of nitrogen is N2 so we've got 14 so that's 14 times 2 would give me 28. Put 28 there so 0 0.2 times 28 will give me the answer. Five point six. And that would be 5.6 tonnes because you got to remember it was 6.8 tonnes originally. Another way of doing this is to use a ratio method. You need to make sure you use the equation for this. So you've got nitrogen producing ammonia. We've got, if you work out the molecular mass here, we've got 14 times 2, 28. 2 times 17 produces 34. Right, if we divide both sides by 34. That would give me 1, 28 over 34. But we want to work out how much mass of nitrogen produces 6.8 tonnes of ammonia. So therefore, if I multiply both sides by 6.8, 1 times 6.8, and 28 over 34 times 6.8, I should get the same answers that we just did before. 28 divided by 34 times 6.8 equals... 5.5999, which is 5.6. Next part of the question asks you to calculate the percentage yield of ammonia. The company only made 4.2, they expected to make 6.8, so you put 4.2 divided by 6.8 multiplied by 100%. 4.2 divided by 6.8 equals times 100% 61.7 so that one was up to 61.8% the question use the equation above to explain why the percentage yield was less than expected well if you look at the equation at the start you got this sign here this doesn't mean British real this sign here means that the equation is or the reaction is reversible so it's a reversible reaction. So when ammonia has been produced, it can actually go this way, react to produce hydrogen and nitrogen. So you produce some and then it goes back the other way, back to hydrogen and nitrogen, and that is why you're getting lower than you expected. This part of the question, the diagram shows the arrangement of the outer shell electrons of nitrogen and hydrogen in ammonia. So there's hydrogen, 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 nitrogen, because it is NH3. 
you've got to use dots and crosses to represent the electrons. So what you need to do is look at your periodic table, find nitrogen, there it is. It's got an atomic number of 7. The atomic number tells you the number of protons. If it's got 7 protons, it must also have 7 electrons. So nitrogen has got 7 electrons. In the first shell, can only hold two electrons. The second shell can hold a maximum of eight, but we've only got five left, so we've got five. Next, we'll look back at the periodic table. We'll find hydrogen. There again, it's got an atomic number of one. Atomic number means it's got one proton, therefore it must have one electron. So hydrogen has one electron. So we'll put the outer shell only. So we'll put dots for hydrogen. And we'll put crosses for nitrogen. There's one, two, three, four, five. So you have three bonding pairs and one lone pair. Right, ammonia dissolves in water to produce an alkaline solution, which I makes ammonia alkaline. Yet again, if you look in the back of your periodic table, you'll find this little bit here, which shows you positive ions and negative ions. And what you need to remember, what makes solutions alkaline, is this one here. Hydroxide. For example, sodium hydroxide. So it's the OH minus ion, which is called the hydroxide ion. Name the type of reaction between aqueous ammonia solution and an acid. Well, we've only just we've just said that this here is an alkali. If we react an alkali with acid, that reaction is neutralization. Then the acid needed to produce ammonium nitrate. So yet again, there's the key bit, the nitrate. If you look at the back of the periodic table, and if you look for nitrate. There it is. So that's NO3 minus, right? Nitrate comes from nitric acid. Nitric acid being HNO3. Final bit of the question the reaction of ammonia with sulfuric acid produces ammonium. Sulfate, yet again look at the back of the periodic table, we've already found nitrate, we don't need that, we need to find sulfate, sulfate is there, which is SO42-, minus. it's important that you get the charge right, we now need to find the bit for ammonium, if we look for ammonium, let's see if we can find it, there it is, ammonium, that's N. H4 plus. Okay, so to cancel these charges out, we've got one plus and two negatives. So therefore, we're going to need two lots of this positive ion. So the answer would be NH4 in brackets 2, because you multiply all of it by 2, SO4. A little bit to help you remember what neutralization is over here, is if you actually have H plus, and you react that with OH minus, you will get water, which is H2O neutralization.